Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of TC Talk, back today with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to go over my five Dust Till Dawn set uh, predictions and for the future post set uh, of it going out, and just kind of give you my thoughts, general thoughts on how things are going to shake up once the set comes out with, with certain heroes and with certain meta things and stuff like that, just for fun, nothing too serious, just uh, something I thought you all would enjoy. Um, I'm not doing my spoiler teaser today because you're probably expecting that. I just wanted to work on it a little bit more. I wanted to do a teaser, but I'd rather the video be finished for tomorrow. So I know you all can understand that. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much and we'll get right into it. If you like this type of content, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you enjoy your stay. If you're a long standing supporter, thank you all so much. Feel free to check out the Patreon and the Discord down below. So... I've done set predictions before. Sometimes it's meta specific. Sometimes it's thematics and like just for fun specific. This one I try to do a mix of both and I try to do some fun things. Like this is the one time where we can just like be completely wrong and it's okay. Uh, these aren't meant to be like gospel and that I'm going to get it right. Or I have some inside knowledge that someone else doesn't have. This is literally just my thoughts. Um, this is one of the few sports seasons where I don't like, I haven't like, try to like pay attention to what other people are doing so maybe i can get some you know inside scoop so uh overall we'll get right into it so the first and foremost thing really not first and foremost but the thing that i think is good to talk about is this levia redeemed rumor so there was a spoiler card that came out uh of abomination of a basically a, like a levia looking card that had some flavor text in the actual announcement that stated that named Levia Redeemed by name, and it was capitalized. Like, Levia Redeemed was capitalized both Levia and the Redeem part, meaning it's like a proper noun, right? Or it's a proper thing. It's not just like calling Levia Redeemed, but the fact that it was title cased in the sentence, you know, made people start to speculate is it Levia Redeemed? And then Mansant uh, putting up a super zoomed up image of supposedly their, his spoiler card showing like a capital L, comma, or yeah, capital L, comma, R, or something like that. So people were thinking that Levy is going to get a new hero text, a new hero thought, um, which is possible. So I'll preface with this. If it happened, I wouldn't be surprised. I hope LSS isn't watching or gets upset with me on this. But Levia is the only hero in the game that really doesn't make sense. <laughs> um, it's the only hero in the game that doesn't have a positive ability. Like, there's no... There's no incentive to play Levia really, other than being able to play things from your banish zone. Um, she doesn't. Ha her her ability basically says like trigger this so you don't die. That's literally what it says. So she's more thematic in my opinion, and especially as new sets have came out, she's really fell behind as far as like how heroes are created. I mean, if you look at Uziri's text and all the stuff Uziri can do, and then you look at Levia, you're like, wow. Right back then, some people have latched on to Levy and loved her, but as time's going on, I think it's even harder for people to pick her up because of her ability. So, all I had to say, I wouldn't be surprised if they brought on a new Levia with the same how do I put this? Uh, same Levia, but new, uh, like a, the Bravo star of the show treatment, basically, where um, she has a better ability. I think they've learned the lesson with star of the show, and she wouldn't be broken by any means, but I think she would have a slightly different um text however i don't think that's the case i think levia redeemed is a card in the set that's not if it's in the set that's not levia itself maybe it's a card that plays in the thematic of her changing but i don't think she's gonna get a change personally um you also could maybe see that she they just change her card art and not her text but that would make sense because if she's redeemed maybe she's been ridden of the you know the disease that plagued her body things of that need not disease but the evil that plagued her body when she called out to it uh you know it wouldn't make sense for her to have the same text and that's what i think honestly shuts down the whole um levia some people think levia is like the evil itself and not her but in the lore it specifically names her as levia before she even turns into shadowborn abomination and she individually called upon that evil when she needed it so i don't think that that's really a thing but so like all i had to say i think my initial prediction is nothing's going to change with levia <laughs> levia redeemed might be a hint to something later in the lore where we definitely then see a change i personally don't think we're going to see a change in levia until savage lands i think the brute set is where you're going to see it but i could be wrong because maybe that's just reinar's domain and we get new heroes but i think that levia 
I would put Levy in the Savage Land set just so she get like it's easier to like play into the brute mechanic. But we'll have to see. Maybe I could be wrong. Um, the next one is Prism Avon of Thrones. My next prediction is that Prism Avon of Thrones will not be a competitive based hero, but more of a thematic, story driven, lore based hero that then plays into PVE. I know nothing about the cards. I know nothing about her kit. This is a blind prediction. I just don't think she's going to be as competitively viable. I think she's going to be used as a PVE tool, as a lore tool, because this is going to get into my fifth prediction where this is the 10th set for Flesh and Blood. Like, this is what they care about the most when it comes to, like, a momentous occasion of celebrating the game, like the success of the game. So I think that people are going to... Um, I th- not people. I think the staff and LSS themselves want to celebrate this set. That's why there's more Marvels. That's why there's more Legendaries. That's why this is such a huge set with serialized cards and they're introducing PVE and all this other stuff, like finally introducing it fully. And I think that Prism's going to kind of play into that. Um, and I think she'll be more, like I said, more of a thematic lore driven character that plays in the PVE more so than a competitive character, but I could be completely wrong. So that's, that's prediction number two. Prediction number three, some people may hate me for this. I'm just being a Bolton hater, I guess. I don't think Bolton's going to change in the meta. (laughs) I think Bolton's going to get some of the new cards that have came out, um, with the new keyword mechanic. I think it's going to basically be like stealth versus contract with assassin where it's like this cool new mechanic. Not really new, but it doesn't really do anything for them in the meta. It just is kind of like, here's one way to play Bolton. Here's another way to play Bolton. Bolton might get a little bit better because he might get a couple cards here and there like that are really powerful cards that help him do his game plan better. But I don't think Bolton's going to get better in the meta. That's just my opinion. Could be completely wrong. Just based off what I'm seeing with the Carmen Yanks, it really seems like they took what they did in Assassin. They started with the, with the uh, contract mechanic. And then they moved into stealth with Arachne, and it really didn't change anything, right? Um, it's just a new way to play it based off the young hero. I do think Bolton's going to get that, where he's going to get some new mechanic, or even how Katsu, when he got Tiger Katsu, I think it was more thematic than like competitive um, until maybe later sets it gets explored more. Um, but I don't think Bolton is going to change in that. So let me know if you're wrong. I'm not trying to be a Bolton hater. Just, just my thoughts. Um, yeah. Fourth one. This is the one that I have a tin hat theory on, and I can be completely wrong. So they had the card where Shiana and Prism are coming together, where like basically if you play it, it copies a card on the opponent's hand, like fully copies it. I think we might get an adult Shiana um, as the third hero. That, that's super tin hat, super you know out there. I don't have any evidence to support that, other than the fact of. Shiana is taking over Prism's body, it looks like, in the card art. And I think that there might be a way, and with the lore where, and she's been like in some of the prior sets previously, I think there's a way where we get adult Shiana. And another kind of reason I think to point to this is all the specializations. Like, yes, the specializations do line up with United We Stand, and it kind of goes into the PvE aspect. But I also think all these specializations also are going to, are kind of a preamble to help build out an adult Shiana character and make sure she has the card pool necessary in order to be playable in any sense, even in just like a casual sense. So I do think we could see an adult Shiana and that's kind of like, that's my fourth prediction. And then finally, United we stand, this goes into what I was talking about with prism is this is the 10th set for flesh and blood, which is amazing. It's a thematic set. It's a big set. It's a set they want to celebrate. And I think that, the purpose of this set, especially from the cards I've already seen so far, and this could completely change come two days from now at the time of recording this video, I'm recording on the 28th with the first set of spoilers. But I think the purpose of this set is PVE and celebration. I think like that's, that's what they're making. I think there are some very powerful cards. They'll be playable competitive cards. I'm not saying every card's going to be bad or PVE focused, but I think like when you think of like what is the core reason we're making this set, I think for them it was I think five sets ago they probably were like, all right, what do we want to do for our tenth set? You know, how do we want to do this? And I don't think they were saying that from a competitive standpoint. I think they were saying it from a like just a game standpoint, like a celebratory standpoint, right? Like it's like any anniversary, like big ones, five, ten years, stuff like that. You're like, okay, what do we want to do for that? Like you plan way ahead and you want to make it special. And I think for them, they're wanting to make it special with the thematics, with the lore, with opening things up, with doing PVE, um, with doing the Marvels, the serialized cards, all these things. I think that's what's going to drive this set. 
and again, I want to say one more time, it's not to say that there won't be competitive cards and that they won't be affecting the meta in some way, but I don't see a huge meta shift from the set, in my opinion. I think they're just going to have a different focus. But could be completely wrong. Um, you know, I'll be the first one to say it if it does happen, but this is more just for fun uh, and kind of to get your thoughts on it as a community. Yeah, so that's my five predictions. First one being, I don't think Levy is going to get a change, at least not this set. I think Prism is going to be more of a uh, thematic PVE lore-driven hero, the new Prism. I think Sir Bolton's not going to really change too much in the meta based off his cards. An adult Shiana, and then finally, just talking about the set in general. So let me know what your thoughts are. Um, if you agree or disagree, it's totally fine. That's the whole fun part of this. We're going to find out in two days or three, four days' time when we see all these cards and see how things shake out. I'm super excited to reveal my card. Um, you know, it's always fun from whether it's a common or a legendary, like the fact that I get to share, you know, a part of the game with you all, regardless of how powerful the card is, uh, is super great for me. And I'm, I'm really excited to do it. So let me know what else y'all want to see. Uh, y'all have the schedule on my discord. Feel free to check it out, uh, with my posting schedule down below. Um, and yeah, I'll see y'all next time on TC talk. Thank y'all so much.